I'm sat at the moment in a reconstruction of a Mesolithic house um, that we've just finished building. Up. And this house is based on an archaeological example from Mount Sandal in Northern Ireland, um, dating to about 8000 BC. It's a six metre diameter timber built structure covered with turf and with a fire in a pit in the centre. Our reconstruction of this building here is part of a experimental archaeology project. Of a project that tries to find out about the past by engaging materially with the sorts of things that people did in the past. And this building is part of the UCD Centre for Experimental Archaeology, which is a space set aside on campus at UCD to allow us to undertake these types of experiments. So we've done stoneworking, flint tool production, we've made stone axes, we've fired pottery, and now we've built a, a Mesolithic house. And we plan to build Viking houses, medieval houses, Bronze Age houses. These sorts of projects are vital for archaeologists. They tell us huge amounts about the past. Normally we, we dig up the, the remains of, on archaeological sites, things which have survived the passage of time. And, and that's fantastic. That tells us an awful lot about how people lived in the past, the sorts of decisions they made, the societies they lived in. But at the same time, these are people who lived in a world which is very unfamiliar to us. Very few people living today have constructed timber buildings with turf roofs. So experimenting, trying to understand these processes, is a really valuable way of gaining insight into people's lives in the past. And this, the, the Mesolithic House, is the first large-scale construction of the Experimental Archaeology Centre here, but we hope it's the first of many that will allow us to address some of these questions about the past.